Hi, I'm in my office at the church uh, recording what I hope is the first installment of uh, something I'm going to call Let's All Just Take a Moment. Uh, this is my effort to connect with friends and family and uh, parishioners during this time of social distancing. Uh, the other day, I picked up uh, my daughter Erica from uh, school because uh, classes, face-to-face -face classes had been canceled. And one of the first things she said to me when she got in the car was, um, knowing that I like these uh, Zen aphorisms, uh, she said, I got a new one for you, Dad. And, and this is it. Let go or get dragged. And I laughed and I said, I love that. And she said, well, I'll make a a uh, bracelet for you and one for me too. It'll be a great reminder to let go or get dragged. It's a great thing to remember um, right about now because uh, there's so much fear and uncertainty out there. Um, this past week I looked at my 401k to see how it was doing after the uh, three weeks of stock market carnage that we've experienced and um, had to remind myself, let go or get dragged. I'm finding I'm having to uh, learn after like 27 years of ministry, I'm having to learn how to be a pastor in new ways. And as a church, how to be a church in new ways during this time of social distancing. I'm resentful about that. I'm having to be creative in ways that I've never been creative before. I have to let go or get dragged. My son was doing so well at Job Corps. Brought him home this week. My daughter, Allie, works at a restaurant. She's out of work. Let go or get dragged. Whenever you experience fear or resentment or anger, especially at this time of high stress for everyone, remember those words. Let go or get dragged. Just breathe. Sink into your body and relax. One of my favorite poems reminds me of this. It's by Wendell Berry, The Peace of Wild Things. When despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water, and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things, who do not tax their lives with forethoughts of grief. I come into the presence of still water, and I feel above me the day-blind stars waiting for their light. For a time, I rest in the world, in the grace of the world, and I am free. Live in grace, be free.